How's it going, everybody? This is Ray with the Houston Film Fanatics, Sunny 99.1, and we are here with the very, very talented Mauricio Martinez. He is starring in the new musical, On Your Feet, at yes. the Hobby Center. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm very happy to be in Texas. I am, Well, we're glad you're here. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Now, you play Emilio Estefan yes. in, the, uh, in the musical. Tell us about your character. Tell us about what you went into becoming your character. Well, it's so, um, it's so interesting to like, uh, portray somebody that's still alive and that it's, um, he's so loved um, by so many people. He's still around and he's like, well, obviously producing and taking care of this project, so he's around and watching me. And he's just great. He's, he's, I now consider him my friend, which is a beautiful thing. And he's so funny and so loving, and he has the best punchlines. He has the best monologues. I think he, um, it's a big, big, big responsibility to portray somebody that's so important to so many of us, including myself. You know, I am living the American dream. I am uh, uh, an immigrant. I am living um, what he went through. You know, many, many years ago. So it's just great. It's a great responsibility. We have great fun doing this show. And um, it's great. I mean, it's great. I, I feel like a, like a kid in Christmas Eve. That's how I feel, you know? Well, I can understand why. Now, we got a chance to check out the show last night. Yeah. So much fun. Did you have fun? I did. I did had a Did you blast. conga in the aisles? I, I tried. It was, your body, baby. Do it that was, conga. I don't, I don't have that rhythm. See, did you see what he did there? <laughs> I can't do that. Um, but yeah, yeah, you can. Everybody can conga. There's some practice that I've Everybody has have. a conga dancer inside of them that's just waiting to come out. Mine is way, <laughs> way deep down, but she's, she's in there. Um, now, how intense is the rehearsals and stuff for this? I mean, yeah, I mean, you guys take musicals with dancing and kick it up to 11. Yeah. Well, uh, I did the show on Broadway. I did uh, the last five weeks on Broadway, so I, I learned the whole thing in three weeks. Oh, wow. That's how fast musical theater, um, the musical theater world is. It's just how it works. And then we went back to rehearsals for the, uh, putting up this show, The Touring Company, which is a whole different production. Half of the cast uh, were on Broadway, including myself. So we already knew the show, the lines and the choreography and stuff, but there was, there was things that changed, you know, with the new ca company and now we, we're touring, so the, the set's different, so they changed, t uh, they tweaked here and there. So um, we learned the show again for another three weeks and then we went to Buffalo and we did tech rehearsals. So pretty much like five, between five and six weeks, it took us to relearn the show and put it up and have it, have it ready. And then we moved to Miami and then we opened just over a, a month ago, a month and a half ago. So yeah, that's how it works. And we are touring right now. So um, once a week or twice a week, there's rehearsals about spacing and we get to a uh, new place. So we got to get familiar with the new theater, the new crowds. Um, but it's great. It's fun. It's it's a lot of fun. We love it. It does look like you guys are having fun yeah. up there. Now Not only fun, but we also have like a, an important message to deliver, especially during these times. Oh, uh, I get to say my character, Emilio, gets to say I get to say the most powerful words in the in the show, and it's it's great to say them right now during these times in this country. Me being an immigrant and saying them. It has like a whole different meaning. Are, and we, are we allowed to tell people what those words are? Yes, are this we? is what an American looks like. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what, that really was an intense part of the show because yeah. I mean, even as you're saying that and watching you do that one scene, you need to see this, trust yes. me guys. I mean, it was a very you could powerful actually, moment. You could hear people kind of taking aback and just yes. being like, I mean, and the, even just thinking about it, I, I get goosebumps. I can't show you because it's sweat, sweater weather, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> this is my new sweater that I wanted to show up. No. But uh, I get goosebumps as I as I hear it, as I think about it, as I say it. Um, it's very important. It's a very important part of the show. Um, very, very important, and it's a big responsibility to deliver those lines with with such like grace and dignity and just standing there and saying them with a thick accent. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautifully written. Alex Dinalaris, who won the Oscar for Birdman, for the script of Birdman, yes. is the responsible one to um, for this, those words. And of course, Emilio did say them. And um, yeah, it's, it's very powerful. You know? I mean, I loved it. I loved also learning about the character that you play because mm -hmm. I mean everybody is familiar with Gloria Estefan right. but you may not be as familiar with with Emilio absolutely with Emilio right. and what a big impact he had on the band yes. as far as I mean he's the backbone of the yeah. story he's like the um, yeah he's definitely the backbone and he he's the driving force behind Gloria and the Miami Sound Machine and he was the manager the producer he started out as a musician so then he became the manager then he became the producer he's like the spokesperson of 
Gloria Estefan, and he's the driving force behind behind her and behind the whole machine, literally. And he's also his uh, her husband. He's also the father of her children. So there's a lot there. There's love. There's there's so much love there, uh, which is beautiful. Just talking about it too, like makes me like want to tear up because there's so much. They've gone through so much, and we do portray a little part of, of like 30, 30 years uh, of their lives. But there's so much love there that you can tell. Just meeting them, you know, there's so much love there. It's not only about the music, about the business. There's so much love. There's family there, and that's what we, uh, me, Christy, and the whole company are trying to portray there with lots of respect, night after night. The love that there is between these two individuals, um, aside from the music, aside from the dreams, aside from the fame, the fortune, the what, what not, the family. It's so important, and the pride of their country, their pride of their culture. Um, it's it's great. What can I tell you? I couldn't yeah. show. I couldn't have chosen like um, a better role to make my American debut with. Like this is I'm crossing over. This is my first American um, job, really. So it's great. I couldn't. I could be playing like I don't know, uh, ten thousand other musicals, and it wouldn't be as specific, special, and I couldn't relate more Ooh. right to this one. We're you know? so glad that you're here, 100%. Thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do have one. Okay, so this is a slightly less serious note. So, okay. little back. I'm getting all so passionate. I'm like, I'm I about love to cry it. Here. I love yeah. Ben. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> okay, so a little backstory. So, when I was younger, my dad had this one article of clothing that he used to wear all the time, and me and my mother were just, we. We really hated it. I'm sorry, okay. Dad. If line you're watching, okay. line of clothing. What was it? Uh, and it was this pair of short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I, I know was where this is going. when I was about 12 <laughs> years old, my dad mis made the mistake of uh, letting my mom wash the laundry one day, and mm -hmm. those magically disappeared and never came back. She probably burned them. I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, you can imagine how shocked I was when you first make your appearance onto and the stage. Wide. And I'm like, oh my God, he found the shorts. <laughs> they made their way to Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> your uh, your uh, dad's lost shorts. Absolutely. They <laughs> used to dress like that in the 70s and the 80s. They they're did. short shorts and they're white and they're like this big. And I. They are. Yeah, that's my first big scene, so. I feel very exposed. As I mean, you can imagine. Well, you have yeah. lovely legs. So you Thank can pull you. this off. Thank very you very nicely. much. But I, I appreciate. Was, it. I had to bring up the shorts because I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. My and dad would be so though. jealous. When you talk about uh, when you talk to Gloria and Emilio, that's how they met, and they're not. They were not white. They actually like. Um, they were like made out of like a curtain or something, because um, oh, obviously they didn't have a lot of money. So I think they made like literally like Emilio's aunt or somebody like made them out of curtain like the curtain so they were like they had like uh, <laughs> designs or something they were very really funny but they were short but Gloria always says Emilio has great legs you have Emilio's legs I have not yet seen Emilio's legs because he's always wearing pants but um, he does yeah. have great legs thank I you. will vouch I for that, that. he thank does you. have lovely legs thank you thank you very much <laughs> uh, <laughs> I now, get nervous every night though because that's like yeah. That was a, That's a lot. That was, that was the perfect way to introduce us to your character. Like, no, no doubt. I Just mean, smiling with yeah, her sunglasses and like, white shorts. I'm like, but wow. that's Emilio. That's Emilio. That's how he is. That's who he is. He's just so confident, so sure, and so... Um, yeah, that's how he is. He just shows up, and that's, that's a perfect way to introduce him you know, in the show. Well... Like I said, the show is phenomenal. You do a fantastic job in the show. You. Thank um, you. Really, guys, you need to go out there. You need to see the show. And if you're not dancing by the end of it, you may want to also double check. Go to the emergency room. Make sure yeah, you still have you a might pulse. Be, like maybe dying. <laughs> yeah, it's a serious thing. No, it's yeah, it's definitely a show um, to get up. Literally, as the title says, on your feet and conga with us and just dance and have a great time and be inspired by this story too. I, I think it's very important to remind every single one of us that the American dream is possible. And um, this is a great story to tell right now it isn't is. it a hundred percent yeah no question yeah people leave the theater with a big smile on their face humming the tunes um yeah it's 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 a fun show to do yeah. well you guys can check the show out for yourself yes. it is playing now at the hobby at center the hobby center will be here until sunday november 26th thanksgiving week absolutely yeah. get your family together come and check this out and tickets we're selling out tickets are like flying man there's yeah. like only a couple left. So. Yeah, so get in there, yes. come check out his legs, check out his awesome <laughs> performance. Come check out my legs, the please. The cast is wonderful, the show is wonderful. Thank you so much my for pleasure. talking with us Thank today. You. Thank you so um, much. We'll catch you guys next time. Uh, Ray, Houston Film Fanatics. Thank you guys, we'll see you.